but I have to get permission from the state. Okay. The county can't do it. The state has to do it. So during this winter time, I'll be going up and down here to Columbus trying to help my residents out with that part. Okay. Um, is there a, a neighborhood in Cleveland, you know, that's kind of thriving now that you want to see Glenville modeled after? Well, it's going in the way of Tremont right now, in the Tremont community. It's going in that direction because Tremont uh, was had a lot of blight in it uh, at least a decade ago. And so Tremont ended up turning around and it's a destination for people. You see businesses there and people live and work in, the, in that community. So we want people in the Glenville area also to live and work in Glenville and the Glenville community. So when you put people to work, you get these businesses here, then that way you uh, people uh, you keep you you you're able to keep crime down in the community also, and people feel like they benefit from it. So it's going in that way, way of Tremont, and you can study, you can look at lessons learned to see what worked work and what didn't work in, in, in the Tremont community. So how soon do you think people will see visible change? I mean, you know, we're starting to trickle in. We're starting to see some of the buildings, the new um, construction going up, and things like that. But how soon do you think? Um, you see, matter of fact, you see it now. You see visible change now. Um, the streetscape project will start within three weeks from now. Three weeks from now, I'm talking about years down the line. Streetscape project started three weeks from now. Uh, if you go on some certain parts of uh, around Wade Park, as well as uh, on Lee, you see homes being uh, built right now over there. Um, we have another huge project, Volunteers of America. Uh, they are uh, it's a women uh, treatment center that will go up on uh, on Lee, and that's in the VA VA hospital. So you're, we're executing right now. And as you go down some of the streets, as I mentioned, I'm quantifying for you. We have at least 30 houses that um, the city uh, pay uh, community housing solutions to rehab. Give up to at least $17,000 grants. So you see the change is, is going on right now. We're not talking about long run, we're talking about short run, making it happen. So I'm very, very happy and excited about that. Anything else you want to say or you think it's important for people to know? Move, move into Glenville. Come, come, you know, come drive uh, Lee Avenue and uh, and take a look at Glenville. We want more and more people to move into the city of Cleveland to look at Glenville. Um, it's, it's good to have more human capital. That's very, very important. My children in the community need to see blue collar workers, doctors, dentists, and lawyers in the Glenville community because you know children need to see success every single day, every single day, and they'll see that in the Glenville community. As you see out here right now, there's some dentists, doctors, and lawyers as I move into the community as well as nurses, but it can walk to university uh, circle. The reason we start up here is that um, we want to make it seamless. It shouldn't be that you see university circle look nice and great, but when you uh, leave university circle, there's a big drop off. I got to make it as the council member seamless with university circle. So when you leave university circle, Glenville looks just as good and just as great as university circle. So those two, because I'm the council member for university circle also, and you got to make it seamless. You have to make it seamless. Born and raised here? Yes, born and raised here. Yeah, I'm talking about that. That's what they high school. And all that. Yes, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Born and raised here. My, um, my, I met my wife in Glenville also. She's from Greenland. Oh, okay. She's a uh, county council rep for the area. You want to come? Oh, okay. She's county okay. council okay. and I'm city council. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Because a part of that role is, that role really is a county role. And she helped uh, bring some funding in okay. for um, for East Side of Fifth Street. Okay. So I went to see her like, tell them you're out of here. <laughs> That's our job. That's our main job. I was telling them, I have to write policy. When, like, when you call me, Maurice, and you can't reach me, I'm out of town. I have to write policy and bring home money. Okay. Write policy. So then, when, Tiffany, when you measure me, you measure me from this. Isn't that true? Is it is the road going to be completely closed off the track? The first phase will, uh, you know, they'll do one side and one oh, side. Oh, okay. And okay. that's why they broke it into check. phases. That's why they okay. broke it into phases. So it'll be one complete. side of the road, other side. Right. So then, Tiffany, we could do this phase from right. um, both our green line. We finish with that. We do the second phase down in the recent event. And then that, then it's, it's open. People can drive. Okay. Okay. When you got a road, 